What's going on guys, Carson Gaming here and welcome back. So, in today's video I'm going to be doing a, just a quick overview of the new Quetzalcoatlus that has been recently added into Ark. Or should I say the new airship, as it is an absolute beast. Here it is, the Boeing 747. It is awesome. So I'm going to show off the base stats that uh, we got it with. It's only been skilled once and that went to weight. So I'm just going to show off the stats we've got already. So, once we tamed it, it went up to 2.4k health, which is pretty awesome. This was only tw level 28 when we tamed it, and it went up to level 33 from the bonus levels. Now, the weight is set was 795, but we've only skilled it once, and it's at 826. So, it's got a lot to go, so I could probably go to 2k weight if you tried. Well, about 2k, maybe more like 1 or 1.5k. But the melee damage on it is awesome for uh, it being such a low level, being a starter dino. Movement speed is really good, uh, oxygen nobody cares about, the stanima is relatively good, it's the uh, same as the Argentinus stanima. And the food is really low, uh, it's not normal though, not, isn't usual that we have our dinos with low food and we have about 20k. Uh, what is this kid doing? He's trying to ruin the video again. Go away. Stay away. Okay, let's just ignore him. So yeah, it took us about... It took us about, let me think, just under four hours to tame. We used just primes. What we would do is we'd swim the wrecks across the ocean to the swamp, which is only down over that direction. But if you live somewhere near here, you'll know which one I'm talking about. It's just over there. Um, so we had the pterodons flying meat back and forth from the wrecks I had over there farming prime meat. And we got loads of prime meat. It was basically tamed off of just prime meat and nothing else. The kibble, however, is rex eggs. And we don't have a female rex, so we couldn't get any kibble. We have one egg that we found in the wild, but... It wasn't worth making it into kibble, we just did the full three and a half hour to four hour grind with the taming. And it was a bit of a pain in the arse. Now, where you can find these things is top left corner in the sector 3525. That's where they mostly spawn, near the snow biome. You can also find them a lot near the green arc, which is over there. Uh, there was a lot over there, we found like two or three, they were quite common. Two or three is quite common for these, because they're not, they're supposed to be quite rare. But we found two or three there. They do need a lot of trank hours to knock them out, about 30. Luckily, ours wedged itself into a rock, and we just sat there shooting it as it was stuck. So it was a really easy knockdown for us, and a really quick tame as well. It was pretty cool. But yeah guys, I highly recommend you get yourself one of these. They are, just look at that size. I need a quickly say that they are really good for weight, they can pick up every single dino in the game, well not every single dino, let me rephrase that, um, it can pick up every single dino oh. apart from the Rex, the Spino, the Parasaratherium and the Bronto, it can pick up Mammoths, Carno, Stegos, Trikes and Kylos, Dodeacrus and all the other small dinos, Sabertooth as well because I'm pretty sure the Agentivist can't pick them up and all the other good things, so when we get a saddle for it, because we haven't researched it yet, it is level 80 and none of us are level 80, we're going to fly one of these and Kylos up to the volcano and just mine so much metal, and it's going to be really really good for us getting metal now. Also if you didn't notice, you can remove sails off rafts, I didn't show this off in the last video, but I'll show you now, look at that, now it looks crap, now it looks brilliant. It's like a proper rough. <laughs> and as you can see, Jacob's asking for level 80s. There's any online, because we need one desperately to build us this new saddle. We're going to give him the materials. But yeah, guys, that's been pretty much it. This is. You should definitely end up uh, taming one of these, providing you have raw meat, uh, prime meat to do it, and four hours to do it. If you don't use. Um, Prime meat, it'll take 9 hours. 9 hours for a level 28 to be tamed with just raw meat. So I strongly recommend you use primes or kibbles. Uh, it 
is awesome. Just get yourself one of these guys, they are brilliant. You really need to get one. I can't wait to show this off once we got a saddle and we can actually use it. Uh, since it hasn't got a saddle, it stays flying like this. Oh, also, it has unlimited stamina when it's like this, so you can build on it, fly it really high in the air, and just log off up there if you want to. As long as you have enough food in it, and it doesn't get spotted by anyone or shot down, you can just live in the air. It's awesome. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate all the support you give me. Stay tuned for the next episode.